Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in. Over the past two months, I've had a chance to do some product testing on some flashlights. The folks from F&G Innovations sent me some flashlights called Morpholites. Come along, we'll do a quick overview, and then I'll show you some practical applications with some beam shots out here in the field. Join me. Here's a look at the Morpholite Pro Flip and the Scout SAR. Both are constructed with a rugged aluminum housing that has a black hard anodized coating for maximum durability. The Pro Flip is powered with one 18650 battery and the light is packaged with two batteries and a charger for your convenience. The Pro Flip uses one Cree XPG R5 LED and has a max output of 500 lumens. The Pro Flip also uses a patent pending flip top beam spreading lens system that provides 180 degrees of widescreen view in the dark which has a great tactical advantage. The lens system also flips out of the way with a flick of a thumb and you can instantly go from widescreen to a spotlight mode. The Pro Flip and the Scout SAR are both operated by pressure switches on the tail end of the flashlight. Here's the Pro Flip mode of operations high, medium, low, and SOS modes. Now let's take a look at the Scout SAR. This is a 200 lumen Cree LED light that has three modes. It has a high, low, and strobe mode. It's also water resistant and it has an impact resistant rating of one meter. The Scout SAR is powered by three AAA batteries and has an approximate battery life on low of four hours and on high of one hour. For the beam shot test, I'm using a traditional flashlight as the benchmark. This one happens to be a Phoenix LD20 and it's rated at 200 lumens. Now for the Pro Flip on the high setting, 500 lumens. As you can see, it offers a wide beam, both horizontal and vertical. Here's a shot from the LD20 and I tried to simulate as if I was hiking down a trail. While using the Pro Flip, I could see the trail from my feet to at least 20 or 30 yards ahead of me. Here I'm scanning side to side with the LD20. As you can see, I'm very limited in what I can see with the beam of the light. Now for the Pro Flip. A big dramatic difference. Not a lot of scanning side to side. Here's a shot from the LD20 and I'm trying to scan a fence line that's about 20 to 25 yards away. Same test with the Pro Flip. As you can see, I have a pretty wide view of the fence line at about 25 yards. I've had a chance now for about a month and a half to two months to really test these lights out and put them through the paces. I must say that F&G Innovations has done an outstanding job in the development and the construction of these lights and I firmly believe that these are going to change the flashlight industry. Now for a rating, I would have to give both these lights five stars on the channel. These will be great additions to my kit, and I'm happy to say that they've done a great job. Well, there you have it, folks. There's a quick overview of the Morpholite flashlights from F&G Innovations. Tell me what you think in the comments below, if this is going to work for you. I see a lot of good practical applications for these lights, one of it being search and rescue, maybe fire and police, maybe just home security, and you want to scan your house to be able to get that 180 degree view. These flashlights will deliver that. Check them out at FNG Innovations. I'll leave a link below to their website and how to contact them. This is John with the Wingman 115 channel. Thanks for checking in, folks. I'll see you next time. Take care. Folks, if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And for the latest channel updates, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Folks, thanks for checking in. Until the next video, take care. We'll see you.